All right, so in our last video, we set up our Shopify theme. In this video, we're going to set up our collections, uh, which are basically our categories of products. Shopify just calls them collections. And we'll add a couple products, and then I'll show you how to use the collections that we made to create your main menu. So first thing we wanna do is create the collections and that is under products and that's right here collections so the home page collection is created by default you'll probably see that when you set up your store but to create a new one just click this button create collection give it a title we're gonna go with hair a description if you want uh, collection image well we'll go down this column first so the description is optional but you can put it in there if you want not all themes display the description so sometimes it doesn't matter collection type you have an option here between manual and automated manual means you'll have to add your products to it manually so you get to decide exactly which products you want in there that's can be helpful if you want that kind of control Automated means you set some conditions here and Shopify will automatically add those products to the collection once they match and that can be useful too if you have a ton of products and I like to use automated as well so uh, we'll go with automated right now you also have a, a bunch of different options but I just usually use product tag is equal to and then I create a tag here uh, called hair and then when I create my products later on, which I'll show you, we'll tag that product with hair and it will show up in this collection. And it gives me a real flexible way of kind of, if I ever wanted to move a product to a different collection, all I gotta do is change that tag. Um, don't really have to mess with this setting right now. And collections available on our store. All we have right now is store. You can, you can add other channels, but we won't go into that right now. Uh, collection image you don't always have to add this either but uh, we're going to be displaying our collections on our home page so we we're going to need something there or we should probably have something there uh, let's just go to images here so just a general image there And then that's the hair collection. Click save. And that just creates the collection for us. I'm gonna create a couple other ones real quick, same way. So product tag, skin, collection image, skin, <clears throat> save. Create another collection. Let's do a few here. Uh, let's see, we got makeup. Makeup. Add an image. Makeup. Save. And I think one more. And another collection. Accessories. Save. And actually, I'm going to create one more because I'm going to add a headband. I'll do headbands. I'm going to add a headband product in a minute. And I'm going to need a collection for that. I don't have an image for that, so we'll just save. and then go to collections and we can see we've got all the collections we just made now next thing we're gonna have to do is add some products to those collections so we'll go to all products add a product and we'll give it a title I've got a hairbrush right now that's a bamboo bamboo hairbrush you can add your product description I don't have one written out but 
obviously you want to uh, get a, put a good product description tell us all about it uh, add the media so this is images of the product I've got a few pictures I'm just going to select all three of them and then you can just this is going to be the main product image but uh, you could switch those around just by dragging and dropping them if you wanted to then of course the price I'm just making these up compare at price is what you would set if the product was on sale so I could set it at $25 and then Shopify will automatically say we'll mark that product as on sale and it'll show the other regular price as opposed to the sale price but we don't need that right now cost per item the customers don't see this but you can put what your cost of goods was so I could put uh, you know $15 in there and it'll show you your margins and your profit kind of helpful very helpful actually when you're running reports charge tax yeah we want to do that you can add a SKU or a barcode if you have that uh, I want to track quantity and I'll just put 10 in there so as we sell them on our store Shopify will automatically uh, decrement the, the inventory and you can continue selling when you're out of stock or not it's up to you I'm gonna un leave it unchecked so that when we run out of stock it'll say out of stock on the store and no one will be able to purchase anymore physical product yes this is for shipping so you should really weigh your products I don't really have the weight for this so we'll just put half a pound this is customs information we're not gonna need that right now um, and variants I'll go over this on the next product but since it's a hairbrush we don't have any variants this is for you know like sizes and colors uh, SEO we, we don't need to mess with that and available on our store you could put product type and vendor but it's optional you can select the collection here as well but we're gonna use the tag so I'll just say I want this to show up in that hair collection so that will uh, put it in that collection for me and then we just save and we're all good actually I'm just gonna type in a description here this so that we can see that on the site so I'll save that go back to products and there's our bamboo product um, I'm gonna add another one with some variants so we'll say uh, this is a it's just a headband uh, the best handband <laughs> add the product images and I've got three of them and we'll just you know leave them like that price cost per item skew just quantity oops physical product I don't know how much that weighs and now for this one I've got variants right so I've got different colors that I want them to be able to select so I'll click variants and it'll pop up this window here uh, this is just default it says size but I can select color you can also type in whatever you want here and it'll use that as an option uh, but I'm gonna go with color and then we've got a teal oh and then you just uh, I'll back that up just separate those with comma and it'll turn them in the tag so teal comma uh, peach comma and taupe and those are the only options I've got and it creates these variants here so you can set you know the skew and the quantity for each one I'll just say I have 10 of each and the prices if they were different you could change that and then up here the only thing I need to do is tag so we'll tag that headbands and then save and then once I save it it'll actually give you another option down here for the images uh, so that when someone selects 
uh, one of these on the on the store it'll switch the image out so I can just click on that and go teal that was the teal so I want the teal image done and it'll add that image to that teal one peach is this one and taupe is that one and then I'll just click save as well and then go back to products and now we've got our couple of products here looks good now next we want here I'll go to the front of the site our menu right now is this default menu so I'll show you how to switch that out um, first we'll go to online store and you'll see there's navigation down here click on navigation and that'll bring up these two menus. Uh, Shopify creates these by default. And the main menu and the footer menu, right now there's not much in the footer and the main menu just has those two options, home and catalog. So we're gonna edit that, so just click on it. Catalog is just, I'll show you, it's just a link to all your products. So that can be helpful if you wanna use that, but we're not gonna use that today, so I'm gonna delete that and we're going to add the collections that we created so hair and then I'll click on this link and it'll just automatically bring up these options so we want collections and then hair and then add it you can even filter it even further but right now we just want all of them so add it we've got hair and then we're gonna just do that quickly for the other collections that we created so skin we do makeup uh, skin accessories add and then the last one we did was headbands and that one we're going to go collections headbands Add. Now that one I want under the accessories uh, collection so I'm just going to grab it and then move it over to the right and let go and that will create a drop down uh, sub menu for me. So we'll just click save menu and then we'll go to the front of the site here and just refresh and you can see it's updated our menu now so this is all the products and then click on hair and we've got the hairbrush click open up accessories and headbands and we've got the headband and just click on that and we can see the headband the price our color option when I change that changes the uh, image add to cart buy it now and then here's the product description and then this is actually the footer menu which we'll edit later on but that's our products and our menu and all our collections so we just gotta keep building those out and adding products now this menu right here I'll show you real quick go back to the admin and click on themes and this is our theme that we have we'll click customize And we'll click on sidebar and we'll see that the sidebar has this main menu selected so I could change or remove that I could change it and to the footer menu or whatever menu and we could go back in the Shopify and create a brand new menu and you can select that if you wanted to but that's just how that ends up there because it's selected the menu setting is set there all right that's all we've got for this video in the next video um what are we going over in the next video we're going to be uh editing more of the uh front end site so thanks for watching